Hey, what's up everybody? This is Casey the Rockstar Flipper. Welcome to another video from me. And today is Saturday. Uh, it is June the 4th, 2016. It's a beautiful day here in Central Florida. And uh, a lot of you have still yet to make it out to uh, your local Goodwill bin outlet stores, bargain bins, whatever you wanna call them in your area. And uh, I wanted to give you guys, you beginners, uh, and even some of you people that have been to them, uh, a few tips and tricks and strategies and, uh, and the basic rules of pretty much uh, how every Goodwill outlet or bin store that I've ever been to, which I've been to probably about 10 or 15 different ones uh, here in Florida, um, how they work. Uh, basically, when you get there, uh, what you should expect, uh, the rules that they expect you to follow, uh, and the best ways to shop, dig, and get the best deals. So, um, number one, uh, basically, is learn the hours and get there early. You want to be there uh, right when the store is opening, uh, and there's two reasons. One is because uh, the carts go fast, and you got to have a cart. Um, immediately when you get there, you got to get a cart, uh, and you park it along the edge of the building, uh, the inside, along the edge of the wall, and that's where you put all the, the, the items that you dig out of the bins once your hands get full, uh, or a bag that you put over your shoulder gets full, you go dump it in your cart. Um, and no one's allowed to shop out of the carts because that, that merchandise has been claimed by people. So get there early. Uh, and the second reason is because typically the first bins out in the morning are usually the best. I always find the best stuff uh, when I get there at like 8 o'clock or 8.30. Um, number two is, uh, tip number two is be aggressive. When you get there, be ready to dig, be ready to to put your shoulder in. You gotta kinda treat it like a Black Friday. As crazy as that sounds, people are there to make money and people are there to get deals and they are digging as hard as you're gonna dig. Um, so be aggressive, stand your ground, don't get pushed around, don't let people throw stuff on top of you. I'm not saying have a brawl in the middle of the Goodwill store, but just be aggressive and, and assert yourself. Um, number three goes right along with that. Make sure you dig uh, to the very bottom of every bin. I can't tell you how many times um, I've watched people give up after halfway through the bin and move on and then I dig behind them <clears throat> to the next, uh, you know, to the bottom of that bin and there's a $30 pair of jeans or a $50 sweatshirt or, or something along those lines. It's happened more times than I can tell you. It happens almost every time I'm there. So make sure you dig all the way to the bottom. Nine, you know, nine out of 10 bins, you're not gonna find anything. But that 10th bin is gonna make your trip worth it. Just finding one item that's buried at the very bottom. Um, I'll give you a very, very good example. For those of you that know I buy uh, sometimes in bulk, um, and a lot of the bulk have already been um, picked over. The, uh, the one bulk bale that I bought that had been picked over that people didn't make it to the bottom of ended up having like a $300 Burberry jacket in it. So that's a good example of if people had dug into the bottom of that bin and found it, they could have bought that, that Burberry jacket for just a couple of dollars based on its weight. So dig to the bottom. Um, my next tip is make sure you wear gloves. And this is number four is wear gloves. Um, a lot of people that do clothing don't typically wear clothes or gloves if that's all they're doing because they like to feel the material and, and, and that's, that's okay. And if you're digging in the clothes bins, you can take the gloves off and put them in your pocket. But if you're going to dig in the regular housewares, uh, you know, toys, all that stuff, wear gloves. Um, I've had it happen to me, uh, you know, a broken plate or a broken light bulb is in the bin, slices your finger wide open. I've seen people get their arms sliced. I've seen people bleeding. It's just, it's, it's dangerous and people are digging fast and being aggressive. So make sure you wear gloves. Um, that's tip number four. Um, tip number five is when you do find something that you want in the bin, grab it. Don't second guess yourself, don't look it up, don't price it, don't take the time to check on your phone on eBay. Grab it, put it in your cart. Just because it's in your cart doesn't mean you have to buy it. Uh, when you're done and you're ready to leave for the day, go back to your cart and before you push it to the checkout counter, go back through the items that are in your cart and then look them up. And if you grab something that you look up and it isn't worth any money, you can just toss it back in one of the bins, no big deal, somebody else will be interested in it. Um, but if you were to stop and look it up, well, then you're wasting time that you could be digging and grabbing other items and missing out on things. So grab it, toss it in your cart, check on it later. That's tip number five. Um, tip number six is to make friends. A lot of people have the wrong strategy when they go into business, and this is any business, where your competitor is, is the enemy, they're evil, people at the bin stores are, are against you, and, and for the most part, that's correct. But if you can make a friend in the business, no matter what business you're in, they, will look out for you. 
they may find something, you may be into plush stuffed animals and they're not. So when they see good stuffed animals, they'll grab it and they'll bring it to you. And the same goes for, um, for you as well. If, if you don't deal in, you know, DVDs or CDs and they, uh, they do, you can grab for them. And so they'll look out for you. So the more friends you make, uh, the better, trust me, make friends. I've had people grab stuff for me in Ben's stores that have made me a lot of money simply because I look out for them and they look out for me. Um, so that's number six, make friends at the Ben store. Um, number seven is to make friends with the managers. Talk to the managers. Find out if they sell in bulk. A lot of times they'll sell, uh, you know, huge pallets of clothes for really, really cheap and you can get good deals. Um, they'll tell you about, you know, stuff that's coming up, specials, uh, things they're doing. So make friends with the managers. Um, that goes right along with the other tip, number six, but that's number seven is separate. You know, talk to the managers, get to know them, get to know everything. Um, number eight is the opposite of my first tip of getting there early, stay to the end. Stay till the managers announce that they're doing the last run of the day, the last set of, of bins for the day. Uh, again, I found a ton of stuff in the last set of bins that have been just well worth the money. Um, and a lot of people leave early uh, or leave after lunch or leave halfway through the day. So if you're you know, one of the, the, the few people that's left over at the end of the day, you won't have as much competition digging through those bins. And there's no saying that the end of the bins are gonna be the bottom of the barrel. I found a lot of good stuff at the end of the day, trust me. It's not, they, they don't put stuff out based on good or bad. A lot of the managers don't even know what's good or bad. They just fill up the bins and they pull the first one out and then when that's done, they pull the second one and they just pull them out. There's no rhyme or reason to their order. So stay to the end of the day. Less competition, really good chance of getting something really really good so that's uh, that's tip number eight um, tip number nine is a little bit advanced and a little difficult but <clears throat> if you can learn to do it you will save yourself a lot of money and make extra money um, tip number nine is to learn how to weigh something without a scale <clears throat> and what do I mean by that excuse me guys I got a little something in my voice um, basically if you can learn to weigh an item uh, without having to scale it and you can um, you know hold it in your hand and know that it weighs 13 ounces or less or more than a pound you'll know what it's gonna cost you to ship basically you'll know if it's gonna go first class you'll know if it's gonna be priority if it's gonna go in padded flat you'll know all that stuff so if you can learn to weigh it without having to use a scale and you'll know what it costs you to ship um, and you know when you look it up what it costs or what it's worth then you'll know if it's profitable uh, the problem I see a lot of people make is they, they pick something up they think is going to go first class, it's going to cost $2 to ship, <clears throat> and they're going to make 4 or 5 bucks on it, and then it turns out it's too heavy and it ends up costing 6 or $7 to ship, and they don't make any money because they didn't know what it weighed. So if you can learn to weigh stuff without using a scale and you get a good feel of stuff, um, you'll definitely help yourself out in the end. So that's tip number 9. Uh, tip number 10 is to go back to your cart and look everything up before you check out. Even if you think you know it's worth money, look it up anyways, there's no harm. It's not gonna waste your time, it's not gonna cost you anything. Look it up and make sure it's profitable before you check out. You can go through your cart 100 times if you want before you check out. So that's tip number 10, is to look everything up before you leave and then finally go and, and pay for your cart. Um, so let's go over the rules, guys, like the basic you know, to do and not to do at the bin store if you've never been. I probably should have done this at the beginning of the video. I might cut this and put this at the beginning. But uh, the basic rules of the bin store are pretty easy. Um, when you get there, you wanna grab a cart and they ask you to park the cart right along the edge of the, uh, the building, right along the wall, and that cart is yours and no one can shop out of that cart and if anything goes missing out of your cart just tell the managers they'll pull the video and they will kick people out if people have gone through your cart so that's rule number one just get the get the cart and park it along the side you can't typically um bring the cart with you um you know along the bins and the reason is is because if everybody's got their carts out against the bins while they're shopping no one's going to be able to reach the bins and dig through the bins and get to them so no no carts at the bins. Park them along the wall. Um, rule number two is you can't shop at other people's carts. That's obvious, and that goes along with the first rule. Once the cart is on the edge and people grab the item, it's it's in their cart. If they toss it back at the end, then you can grab it again. But until it's out of their cart, it's that's it. It's done. Um, typically, uh, bin stores. This is rule number three will line up the new bins. So they start the day with you know say 50 bins, and then at the end of the day, they will, or at the end of that 
that run, what they call it, they'll move all the bins back in the back and they'll bring out a new set of 50. So when that new set comes out, you line up, everybody lines up. You can't just run and go crazy. You line up and they will say, okay, everybody line up. You get, you know, up against a bin that you're interested in and they say shop and then everybody goes. So that's, that's, uh, you can't touch any of the merchandise until they say shop. So that's, um, that's rule number three is make sure you're, you know, not just diving in and you're ready and you're following that rule. Um, rule number four is kind of specialized, but um, I see it a lot in a lot of the bin stores. Um, you can't scoop. And by scooping, let's say they pour a whole bin out of purses. They don't want you to just scoop up a huge armful and dump them in your cart and then sort and go through them later. They want you to grab the ones you're legitimately interested in giving everybody a fair opportunity. Same goes with clothes if they put them on a hanger rack. Same goes with clothes in, in the bins. Don't just grab the whole bins worth of clothes, go dump it in your cart and then go sort it. You're, you're not making it fair for everybody else and you're making it difficult for them to keep doing this for us. So um, that's, that's a pretty important rule that they enforce pretty stringently uh, every bin store that I've ever been to. Um, I think that's pretty much the basics of the rules. Like outside of that, I mean, as long as you, you know, stick to those and, and, and you're respectful and you're not tossing stuff on top of people and you're not being, you know, rude or, or, or cutting people, then you'll be fine at the bin stores. It's a really, really great source of merchandise. It's really cheap. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it is aggressive and it's, it's intense, but it's a ton of fun um, to go in the bin stores and find really good deals. And when you score, um, it's even more fun. So just go and enjoy it, make some money, you know, do some research, get some experience, go a few times and, you know, and then you'll you'll be able to figure out how it works and, and how you can make the most money and what works for you. Um, so that's my video for today, guys. That's all about the bin stores and the outlets. For those of you that haven't been or even some of you that have been that just needed some tips and, and tricks and strategies um, to get in more deals and more items. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe. Please subscribe to this video uh, or to my channel so you get all the new videos like this one. Um, it's the only way you'll get the notifications and the, uh, the updates when I post a new video. And uh, you will be thankful. Trust me, I post a ton of videos. I try to post one at least five days a week, if not all seven, if I can. And uh, we also post the links to the videos on our social media, which is down in the description as usual. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, we are live on right now. I created a Snapchat. I've never used Snapchat. I've never really been into it. I don't know if I'll use it for this business, but maybe. Um, so if you're on Snapchat, you can follow us as well. I'll put the links, all of them down there. And uh, other than that, that's what I got for you guys. Enjoy your weekend. Get out there, make some money, and we will catch you later.